Assalamualaikum and good day. Uh, welcome to all. This video will cover on the briefing in the rubric from element 1 until element 6. Before we start, please refer to the template that has been uploaded inside Kalam. Uh, the name is PSM1 template. We are using an IEEE template which uh, has been customly modified um, for students to edit and insert the content. And please take note, this is a sample writing guide which is based on the given rubric. Any addition, change of content is between supervisor and supervisee based on the domain and also the project. Okay, the first element is the introduction. Okay, um, suggested for the first graph structure is on the explanation of the background of the project. That includes either domain or background of the project. For instance here, the example I've given here is uh, on the first paragraph is uh, the domain of speech recognition. So here at the first paragraph, you can see we actually define and give some meaning to what we meant by speech recognition. So here we mention speech recognition from the spoken words to machine readable. It also known as automatic speech recognition. So basically it means that the computer generates out the correct output through self sayings by implementing algorithm that acts as program. So through the first paragraph, okay, we actually convey the meaning of speech recognition. You can also add the second paragraph in explaining the types of speech recognition. So here, um, we added some types of uh, speech recognition, which is um, continuous rec recognition recognizer and uh, also special approaches. Okay. Regarding on the second paragraph structure, the suggested is on brief on process or approach or work that has been done. So here in the example, we already given the examples of speech recognition applications, which includes voice dialing, call routing, and etc. And then we mentioned the two types of recognition system, which is pattern recognition and also acoustic phonetic systems. So here, um, the explanation could be varied depending on the amount of information you have. So the suggested second paragraph above is uh, regarding on the process approach or work that has been done. Regarding on the third paragraph structure, is you have to slightly brief the problem that leads to the problem uh, proposed solution. So here, um, we highlighted the speech recognition application that is sensitive to sound or voice. So this is partly we are moving towards the problem. So we are touching the defect, okay, we are touching the differentiation of time scaling and utterance and so on. Here, um, you have to give the brief in terms of what is the current or latest problem that actually uh, at the end you have a concluding sentence in explaining therefore this work aims in proposing a speech recognition application that is able to detect uttered words correctly for kids so in case you are using a mobile application you want to develop mobile application here you propose a mobile application that solves what the problem that you already mentioned Okay, the next section is problem statement, possibly in a single paragraph and please highlight the main problem then followed by the sub problems. Okay, the main problem is the one that you want to, uh, you want to solve, but the problem is supported by all the sub problems that actually contributes to the main problem. This one can be written in the form of single paragraph or you can write written in point form or even table. That depends between you and also your supervisor but at the end you need to have a concrete problem statement okay just because there's no solution has been done that is not a problem problem is something um, like if you get analogy that you have your your bleeding so the bleeding is the problem and the solution is you want to apply a plaster on it okay you don't apply a plaster on a, a non-bleeding hand okay so here in this example given the main problem of speech recognition is detecting other words, especially for kids. Okay, so here the sub problems is the effect of the environment may cause difference of time scaling of the utterance, we may, we, we may, which may result in obtaining wrong output. And furthermore, kids have very low tone voice compared to adults. Therefore, it is harder to detect in a very 
noisy, noisy environment. So you have two sub problems actually supporting the main problem. Okay, regarding on the objective, okay, you must have three objectives in which um, the simplest way is you have to design or to investigate and then to implement and then to evaluate. This is three very simple, very basic because you're doing a project. Okay, but uh, discuss the objective with your supervisor since most of you have different domains okay and then um, different methods so in case of uh, it's more on the applied research type of project then you have to tweak the objective but please make sure you have three concrete objectives and it must be uh, reached at the end of your project during PSM 2 okay on the literature review this is the most important part in which you have to look for at least three related works to your um, to your project. That means this will be a referral point in you comparing the results of the feature or, or also the results um, you obtain through experimentation. So here is an example of table in which you can see you have four rows which is the specification and then you have system A, system B, system C. So you can put the system A replacing the uh, related works name okay and then make sure you have the proper citation and then here specification okay you have the you have um, a lot of specification so make sure you put all the specification here okay some of the system might have the specification some might not have please put it okay and then the ones that doesn't have you have to put that not available okay for in this case let's say you have user user that means you can uh, relate this to the ones that using the system. So system A might have two users, system B may be a one, or system C maybe have three. So you have to mention each. Um, you have to mention each element using the specification you have here. So here I give you some examples here. That means you have user interface, database, data store, security, deployment. You can even use technology. You can put advantage disadvantage here but i'm not recommending to because this is more on the table of specification okay so here you list down all the specification related to the proposed solution and then you fill fill up the table for the ones that have the specification you write down for the system doesn't have the specification you write that not available okay class so how you describe the table uh, beforehand so this is an example template that actually created okay the first suggested paragraph is the description of specification of features of existing system one or work one. That means one paragraph should consist of one system, specification or description. So the more the specification, the more the explanation. So I already created here a, sample, a template sentence. So it might um, change with the specification that you mentioned in the table. So here, if you notice, I already put her system A is a system and then in the bracket you put the purpose of the system and then um, it used by insert the user if you remember previously the table okay the table has the first element of user so you insert all the users here and then the interface is developed using what interface by whom or what uh, technology same all the elements here so I already created this template for you so the way that you can modify is just take the sentence here and you modify based on the specification you have. Okay, same for system B using the same template and system C using the same template. And then you end the sentence with table 2.1 shows the summary of specification existing system. Then you put the table at the below in the report. Okay, for caption. The caption of um, table comes first before the table. For figure, the figure comes first before the table caption. Okay, moving on to the literature review, the advantage and disadvantage part. So here is the sample of second table that you can add in your report. So here on the left is the, system, the first row is the system's name, system A, system B, system C, or other, other work, we can put it as work one, the title, project title, project 1, project 2, and project 3. And then we can have the advantage row and also this advantage row. So the way you explain is, here I, I categorize, you have key phrase and the description. So let's say system A, okay. The key phrase refers to the main word of the 
uh, main element that you want to highlight the advantage of the um, system. So, for instance, let's say um, this. Uh, let's say you want to take an example of um, usability. So, you highlight here the key phrase as usability, and then you describe the the system. The, the system is easily can be used from any devices, either mobile or web system. So this one when we write this then we know when we read okay we know that we are highlighting the usability and then we give the description of the usability the common mistakes that always students do is just copy and paste and junk it here so in which when you read the table of advantage it's always hard to know what is the advantage so by actually you focusing the key phrase then you already know if a usability performance then you give the description of the uh, of the advantage same goes for the disadvantages so highlight the key phrase first and also and then you put the description at the end okay moving on how to describe the advantage and disadvantage already created here the template for you so uh, suggested first paragraph is the description of features of existing system one so one paragraph consists of one system that means covering advantage and disadvantage description so here's a sample template already put here so as mentioned from previous section okay system a is a system that you put back the purpose of the system and then one of the advantage of the system is the key phrase you mentioned the first key phrase so you put the key phrase here and then the second sentence is you copy back the description you put there and put it as the sentence after the key phrase mentioning okay and then you mention the second advantage of the system putting the key phrase and also the description as the next sentence so the connecting sentence is apart from that this system also has some disadvantage so you write that the first is the advantage putting in the key phrase and then the description of the uh, disadvantage and then followed by the next sentence the second advantage disadvantage of the system is disadvantage key phrase and the description of the disadvantage so same goes um, with the other, with the second work and also the third work of system b and system c and then at the end you put in the table that you created after mentioning the sentence table 2.2 shows the summary of specification of existing system so class in brief i already explained to you all the elements uh, from element 1 until element 6 okay of the um, rubric okay uh, please make sure you follow uh, rigidly uh, based on the PSM1 template in Kalam, okay? And what I have explained here is actually an example of how to write, okay? So at the end of the day, you need to discuss with your supervisor on the content, on the project you are doing. Make sure you have a good communication with your supervisor. And then if you have any queries, you can uh, message me in our, um, our group so that I can reply you swiftly. That's all from me.